Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Cities Skylines campaign. Um, I do think it's going to be necessary to raise taxes even higher. Uh, we're going to start taxing the peasants as well. Because, you know what? I, uh, they, they want all these services and stuff, and it's annoying. Gosh. Can we defund the police department a bit? I mean, the police is, they're not that expensive, but, ugh. I mean, we need... We need more... It's, oh. Oh. it's tough, man. It's tough. it's tough to build and find the funds necessary to keep things going. These guys don't even have power. If I had 6,000 pounds, I would... 6,000 ducats, I'd just build another windmill. I mean, dollar for dollar, the, the uh, coal power plant, it's only 19k, but it gives you 40 megawatts. Whereas with this, you pay pay for three of these, and you get, in this case, we're only getting like 18. We're getting half as much for the same price. But again, when you look at the uh, actual maintenance value, 80 per week versus 560 per week, like, you do come out ahead in the long run. Healthcare goes universal around the world. More healthcare will, with smaller cost, universal care. Alright, so we we started off, I think it was like January of, uh, 15. Actually, you know what it might have been is uh, March 10th. That would be kind of cool. God, why is this music so freaking loud? What do you not understand about, like, not being excessively loud? Thank you, game. Eight percent full. What happens when it gets full? Empty building to another facility. Relocate it. All right, it stores garbage. Do we have to like export it or we'll get an incinerator or something at some point. We'll burn it. I am stubborn, so I'm gonna keep on making these wind turbines. I don't want to uh, cave in and go with coal. Coal silly. Also, I probably should have just raised the budget for it. Now, we're barely within range. If we start to see any brown, any blackouts or brownouts or whatever you want to call them, we will just raise the uh, raise the budget a bit. And we've got a ton of demand for residential. Oh, this is this is a little bit nerve wracking, but we're gonna expand the roads and we're gonna do this. Not enough money. All right, you guys can live there. That's about it. It's all I can give you. Build a house. <laughs> that reminds me of Mitch Hedberg. I don't know why. Poor man, he's gone now. He had a, a joke about, you know, if you ever find yourself lost in the woods? Well, he swore, but he said, you know, F it. Build a house here. You know, build a house. <laughs> well, I was lost, but now I've significantly improved my predicament. <laughs> I was lost, but now I live here. He's a funny guy. Alright. Well, we're making stuff happen. More stuff being built. Let's see how we're doing on, uh, you guys have water? Yeah, you do. Kinda. Mostly. We need to get some more commercial over here. You know what? These, these guys are all gonna have to be pushed off. Can we, uh, can we buy some more territory yet? Not yet. I wonder, could, could we actually mix some, uh, some power, or like some commercial into the commercial, the residential area? It's so freaking noisy over here, though. You know? Seems like things are looking a little bit up. They're going alright. People are happy. Overall happiness is happy. What do we got? Residents could be happier. Maybe they'd be happier if they were educated. That's probably the problem. Why isn't the local government doing anything for the fires? What fires? I don't see any fires. Are you crazy? Is there a fire over here? I don't see any fires, you're crazy. What are you smoking? Speaking of smoking, we could totally enact a policy. We could do, uh... No, we can't do it, we can't do it yet, but we could do recreational use. We totally permit the recreational use of controlled substances to attract tourists, but also require more police presence. We might do that. Alright, power's starting to be an issue. Let's go to the budget. 
And let's just crank up that spending a little bit. It'll cost us weekly, but I'd rather that people don't have no power. Why are those things not spinning? Don't tell me we're getting power from these things. They're not even spinning. Oh, well, that's interesting. It looks like the, uh, oh, the pop. Obviously, the game's paused. That would explain why they're not spinning. Um,. I remember these were six, and now they're seven, so it looks like wind changes over time, potentially. Very interesting. How do you not have power? Come on. A little bit more demand for industry. When are we going to be able to build the more advanced industry, I wonder? We can't build these until we have 7,500 people. High density residential. 7,500 commercial. 7,500 for an office zone. Well, I guess we gotta get the basics out of the way first. Well, I'm also going to go ahead then and put some more industry right here. And here. Build it wherever you want. It's good to hear people getting upgraded. All right, how are we doing on ed elementary? We got like 140 students who are not in school. We also got young adults who can be educated in like high schools. Or sorry, not high schools, uh, universities. But clearly, there's no way we'll ever be able to afford that. Um, but another elementary, I think, would be a pretty good investment. That or even just raising spending and actually trying to get the... Uh, I mean, I could I could raise it to 375 by increasing spending. I could get a 25% bonus. That's almost enough, but I, I just feel like we'd be better off with the second elementary. See if we can afford it soon. 10k. Speed the game up a little bit. People are upgrading. Let's see. Uh, if we go to taxes, we can see that we've got... 1300 coming from level 2 houses. Very nice. we got no level 2 commercial. And no level 2 industry. What's up with that? Why aren't you guys upgrading? In order to upgrade, increase the value of the land to allow building to be upgraded. Parks, plazas, and good services. Increase land value. Alright. Where's the land value graph? Commercial's apparently going to bring it up a little bit. So you, you tell me you want me to put... You want parks near the... Uh, Commercial. That seems a little bit strange. I'd say we'd be better off building parks by the residential area, don't you think? I'm so boring. With my grid format. But it's working. It is working. Oh, interesting. Okay, I've not actually used this before. I've always used fill. But yeah, we can actually do uh, individual tiles. We can do a circle. Kind of cool. Very nice. Hey, we've got 2,800 people. Nice. We've got an extra area we can buy. We also have transportation services. Level 3, we can build buses. Ore industry specialization. Mine ore from the Earth's crust. And ship it to local businesses for further processing. Moderately increased ground pollution and electric electricity consumption. Moderately increased tax income. Requires a natural resource of ore. We can also have a policy for recycling. We can legalize the, uh, not necessarily cannabis, but, you know controlled substances. We can build more roads. We have access to the highway now and a highway ramp. Alright, sweet. And most importantly, my favorite thing ever, the advanced wind turbine. Let's stick these things out here. Check this out. 20 megawatts. It's so good. So we'll start building these things all over the place.
Alright, so that's connected. And now we should be doing pretty good on power for a while, I think. 52. It should update, right? Should update, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Lots of power. Now these things cost... I mean, uh, compare this thing. We're, we're getting... Look at that, power output 24. Alright, it's because we got overspending. There we go, should be back down at 20. We'll, we'll keep it at 20. That's the sweet spot. But these ones, power output is 6, you know, not so good. And we're having issues with water, probably because we don't have underground pipe. So let's go over to like... There, and then... Kinda... Well, no matter what I do, it's gonna have a little bit of... Overlap, which is fine. We have 31,000 ducats, because they gave us a bunch of money when we hit level uh, 2,800 people. So let's go ahead and throw down that extra elementary school. And now, I think, population-wise... Of course, now we actually need the another high school. So there's always that to consider. We also need the university at some point. Hey, there's a fire! Where's the fire department? Get over here. The fire department right here. Put it out the fire. Put it out. Hey, they saved it. Nice. They saved the other one, too. Here they are. Look at that, you can actually see him. Freaking out. <laughs> awesome. I mean, not that they're freaking out, but just that you can see him. Okay, I think it's about time that all of this industry stuff just goes away. And unfortunately... Alright, here's access to the highway. A three-lane, one-way road suitable for connecting population centers. It supports high traffic and high speeds, but decreases land value significantly due to high noise pollution. Lanes going the opposite direction need to be built separately. Highway does not allow zoning next to it. And then the highway ramp. Well, before we do that stuff, like, what's going to take for this? 56 lane road with decorative grass slowers stuff? Okay. Well, I just want to upgrade to a six lane road, like, from here. Here. Upgrade road. We would lose the power, we lose whatever structures are here. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Pound sign, deal with it. Your your stupid buildings are gone. Eminent domain. Uh oh. It's just connected all the power. Uh it's been known to happen. Let's do something like that. Alright. So now we got a primary road, and I still I wanna connect this thing all the way through. So, eminent domain, here we come. I'm just gonna pretend like... I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't know about that. That they did, that they lived there. We can increase demand for industry, though. Oh, you know what else we can do? We can actually buy another tile. So... We could just kind of expand the industry up that way. Um, could work. Could be good, let's do that. Suitable area for building 90%, sounds pretty good. It's got a lot of abundant farming resources. And abundant forestry. Alright, sounds great. Let's buy it. We're gonna build a nice, long, wall, long, thin town. So now we have more space, we can actually expand this industry. Uh, we're gonna go with that. Regular road. And I wanna expand you. One past ten. That way these things can be equal. The question is, how long do we wanna make these roads before we do a, a crossroad? Did I just build that right? I think so. Alright, we'll do some commercial. Do a little bit more industrial. And how are we doing on, like, power? And water?
Power and water should be fine. That'll give you a little bit of what you want. If you guys could go ahead and upgrade your uh, your houses, that'd be nice. How about you do that, huh? Well, we're growing. You know, I mean, not bad. Power's kind of under control. Water availability, a little bit questionable. Let's, uh, let's just go back up to 100% now here. Water should be fine for still quite a while yet. Sewage treatment is different than water treatment. Interesting. Ah, uh, now it's not. Never mind. Now that we have all this space, we could consider relocating these, but I feel like they're in an acceptable spot right now. Now, okay, let's let's take a look at this um this whole like specialized industry thing, right? So what you do is you go to districts. Um, which is this button. And then what we can do is we create a district, and then we designate it as a farming district. Considerably increased water consumption, slightly increased tax income, requires natural resource fertile land. So we can look at like the resources, I think it's uh, here, yep. And we can see that this is like farmable land, and then these are forestable, you know, forest land. So, if we wanted to, natural resources available, 59 hectares, I think that's what that stands for. Why don't we try the forest thing? I've not, not actually done that before. So, let's try it out. We're gonna go ahead and create a district. Up here. Kinda like this. And I guess we'll wrap it around all the way over here as well. Uh, no, you're supposed to be one region, thank you. Thank you very much. Go away, Manor Hills. Aspen Heights. Uh, no. That's, that's not what it's called. This is called Aspen... Um... Tree Destruction... Yeah, it's the Aspen Tree Destruction Site. And uh, now we're going to go back into the, this thing. We're going to designate this as a forest industry. Specialized in forestry to take advantage of renewable woodlands. Slightly increased electricity. Slightly increased taxes. Okay, you are now a forest zone. So... Is that it? I don't know that we... I think we might actually have to, like, build industry there. It's not going to just immediately start making forestry income. Yeah, we've got to actually designate indus industrial zones out here. So, looking at the, uh, the region, why don't we actually create a second, another region as well. This one we'll kind of just make in this general area in here. Kind of like do a nice little broad stroke like that. And then we'll kind of use a smaller, smaller stroke. I go on the ins- Ah, that's wrong. It's not what I wanted to- uh, No. No. Interesting- Interesting mechanic, you know? It's an interesting way of designating areas. This little paintbrush thing. Something like that. It's good. Um... How do I delete? D zone. Oil industry. Generic. Unspecialized the industrial zones. Uh, no, I'm actually wanting to delete. Ah, right click. Gotcha. Okay, so we got Pine Square. Uh, no, that's gonna be called Farmers Are Us. Uh, I did not present her. And so now, I think, if we go like something like this, let's build a road. Kind of extend it out that way. And I guess we'll go ahead and throw in a, uh... Let's, um... Let's 
space already occupied. Oh, right, okay. Gotcha. I get it, game. I see what you're saying. And then we'll just kind of go, yeah, fill it in. Then we will undesignate to down there. And let's see, I think, now I'm thinking what they'll do is they're actually going to build, like, farmer-type stuff out there. If there's any desire for it and they want to expand, they'll, you know, and it's in a, and it's in a district, they'll actually build, like, forestry out here, or they'll build, like, orchards or some nonsense in here, and we'll actually be able to see a differentiation between the different types of industrial, industrial in income. Let's wait and see. Um, but first off, we'll probably need water out that way, so let's do that. Never mind the, uh, the screen tearing, it happens. So we're getting a hundred and some people per week now. Not too bad. Game seems to want to default back to speed one for some reason. So we want to build out there. Come on, farmers. Start farming. Farm away. Here we go. Frank's Fish Stick Factory. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind, um, when I, when I was thinking of farming, but I guess fish sticks are good. Okay. More upgrades happening. It's not bad. Still kind of low on money. We are good on. I think it. I think education's good enough. You know, like if we could, if we could get a, a college going, that would be great. But that seems pretty damn expensive. And income is positive, but could be better. Still no breakdown between the different types of income. Residential is where we're making the most money. Look at that, level 2 income. Very nice. Now, didn't we get access to some new structures as well that I should be building? What did we get recently? City has negative 1 money. How does that happen? Alright, um, new services. We have transportation, bus, or industry, recycling. Oh wait, recreational use. Uh, what if we do that? Let's do, you know, enact the policy. Slightly increased tax income, moderately increased tourist... In tourism, slightly reduced crime, increases the police budget. Sounds great. Let's do it. Citywide policy. Everyone can smoke. Have fun. Alright, well, this is a good spot to wrap up the campaign. Now that we've legalized marijuana, we don't need to play this game anymore. GG. Um, but no, actually, in all seriousness, no, I am just going to take a break here. But I do look forward to seeing you in the next video, so thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. See you soon.